the 124th chapter, the first verse, it says, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, let Israel now say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us. And in a time of need, God will take care of his people. Can somebody turn that microphone down for me just a little bit? If we trust him, if we believe him, God will take care of his people. But in the reality of the situation, a lot of times, that's easier said than done. It's, it's easy for me to tell Pastor Valerie that God will bring you out of the situation. But if I'm in the same situation, it can be a lot more difficult for me to believe that God is going to bring me out of the situation because... I'm the one that is standing in it. Mm -hmm. She's standing in her situation, and I can look at it, and I can say, God is going to bring you out. Mm -hmm. But lo and behold, if I am standing in the same situation, I am wondering, God, how are you going to do this? How are you going to bring me out of where I am at? Because what I'm looking at, it looks real bleak. The, the situation doesn't look too good right now. And, 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 and from an outsider's perspective, they can say, well, God's a deliverer. God can do this. God can do that. Yeah. Yeah, but you're not standing where I'm standing. Yeah. Yeah. If you were standing where I was standing, if you were looking at the situation the way I was looking at the situation, then it might not be so easy for you to say that God will bring you out. But, but the scripture says, if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side. So, so, so that lets me know that, 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 that regardless of what I am going through, God is on my side. Regardless of what I'm going through, God is going to, to bring me out. Regardless of what it looks like to me. See, to, to be honest with you, I, I feel like I've been through hell and high water this week. Uh, the, the, the enemy has has has, has attacked and, and 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 I'm like oh Lord I don't understand what's going on with with with, with all this stuff that's coming about I don't, I don't understand this I'm, I'm trying to do the right thing I'm doing what you tell me to do Lord I don't understand why all these things are coming about but lo and behold if it had not been for the Lord who was on our side yes, yes, yes. my my mind goes back. only son Isaac and, and God told Abraham, we all know this story but I'm, I'm going to go through it a little bit, God tells Isaac, Isaac God, tells, God tells Abraham, I want you to take your only son Isaac and I want you to offer him up as a sacrifice now this is the only child I, I have and, 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 and now you want me to offer my only child as a sacrifice unto you well, here goes a bit of controversy because you promised me that you were going to do something with my seed. And if you take my seed, then how are you going to bless my seed and multiply my seed if you're going to take it? I, I, I don't understand what you're doing to me, Lord. But I will be faithful to you and I will do what you have asked me to do. I, 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 don't, I, I don't think I'm going to be very long today because I, 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 feel, I, feel, I, feel, I, feel, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. And, and, and I don't think it's going to take God a, a long time to do what he needs to do today. Uh, the, the, the Lord told me a while back that, that I don't need to preach as long as I be preaching. <laughs> with him, he takes a donkey. They have the wood. 
they have to fight. Now, now in, in, in looking at this, Isaac wasn't six or seven years old. No. He was around the age of 20. He's virtually, I got a 20 year old son. And if I have. <laughs> and try to tie him up <laughs> to some wood <laughs> and I got a knife and some fire in my hand he loves me but there's gonna be some problems <laughs> he's not gonna let me just tie him up he's dad what you doing let's talk about this you lost it I'm ready where's it on does mom know you doing this Child 
that you have and this boy still has not opened up his mouth and said, Dad, what are you doing? Because there is enough trust in him that he knows that you aren't going to kill him because you aren't going to have to because you've got a connection with
but God said no, I don't think so.
situation and circumstances, God is going to provide for his people.
like he comes and sits right next to you on the bed. Yeah. And puts his arm around you yeah, and says, right. I got you. Yeah. I got you, it's okay. It's okay. And you just begin to cry. And it feels like your tears are being wiped away. By God himself. And you begin to think, you know what? I think I can go a little further. Hallelujah. I, 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 think, I think I can go a little bit further. Because the comforter has come into the world. And the comforter said, I got you. I got you. I don't want you to worry about the thing because I got you. There's a reason that the comforter is there. The comforter is there to comfort and to help.